either with either it was friends or family, I would have some sort of idea and I would like I, I was trying to be polite. Like I was trying to not interrupt people. Um but it's like people would continue to talk and they wouldn't like there 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 wasn't like this strong push for people to be like, what do you think? You know, looking at me and asking what I think about stuff. So it's like I sort of started trying to learn how to uh, just talk when I had when I had thoughts, and it, it's it's been positive and negative. But. Yeah, but it's like, what you're gonna do? You just have yeah. to do it. do whatever yeah. you can. True, true. Were you here when we talked about the rainforest yesterday? No, I was not. It was for and against chopping down the rainforest. <laughs> and I must have I must have made points when we, but I was slow about it because after a while Eric started arguing both sides. <laughs> like she is saying and I was like, "Yes, that was what I was trying to say." <laughs> <laughs> too, too slow I'll do it for you <laughs> something like that yeah well I mean I think sort of in the same way that I can monologue about you know typology related stuff I think once he gets into debate mode then Eric's just like he, he wants to be in debate mode which means operating at a certain speed and you know whatnot. yeah but uh, I get you. I feel like I'm one of the faster speaking introverts, but I, I still get it. I, I didn't start from fast. I had to, I had to work my way up. I'm not sure how how slow I'm actually. I actually am because it's difficult to evaluate that for myself. Yeah. Uh, INTPs don't really give a huge FE push. And I think I, I live with my parents most of the time that I'm online to be sleeping or stuff like that. So I'm not really comfortable, you know, increasing my volume around people. But when it's just like me by myself, uh, or like if I'm at a friend's house or something like that, it's different. I think you would see me actually utilizing volume and some more like FE aspects of like actually like trying to have more of like an impact on the room by uh, like just ha having more of a presence. Um, and I notice with INTPs, it's not, it's not necessarily that, you know, you're considerably slower. It's just, there's not as much as that of that uh, sort of effy push to be like, Hey, I'm here. I'm present. Hey, look at me. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. That seems accurate. Although an exception to that, I would have to say is Josh. Well, he's kind of always drunk and on drugs when he's on air. <laughs> now, Suzanne, gets... are you trying to tell me that drugs alter the performance of the INTP? Yeah. Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think uh, I'm not saying individually, but as a collective, your your kind, I think, probably consumes drugs like Pez candy. Yeah, except me. <laughs> You're like, I do not need barbiturates. I have cats. <laughs> You're like, man, I'm feeling pretty low today. And then you pet a cat. And you're like, yeah, good to go. It is proven that petting animals is soothing. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of animals I do that with. Yeah, you have a dog, haven't you? Yep. He's uh he's interesting. He's 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 fun to have, but I I miss my Labrador. Got him when I was like ten. And uh I think when did he die? Dad like how long ago is it? Shit, I can't remember. Uh, two years ago, I think, maybe. So, yeah, two years ago, I was 20. So, yeah, I had him for like 10 years.
Yeah, I got my first cat at six years of age, and he lived until he was twenty-three. That was an old ass cat. That was an old ass cat, and it was sad as fuck when he died. Yeah. My my dog lost the ability to walk. Hip problems. Yeah. No, I think it was um. Well, hips was part of it, but I mean. I don't know if he had a stroke or something, but something happened with his, like, spine. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so, like, I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't like, stand up hardly. Yeah, uh, when it reaches that point, there's not much you can do. He, uh... He got to the point to where he would start standing with his back legs fairly close together. Like, he was sort of balancing on them. Um, I can't. I have to go help my boyfriend with something. Right back. I apologize. No, it's fine. Right back. Right back. Right back. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hey. It's Huesto Enrico. Yeah, it is. Going to work? Fucking shit up as always. Oh, wait, no, you're not going to be going to work. It's three hours earlier. It's almost coming up on three in the morning. Coming up on it. Coming up on it. <sighs> getting tired? Man. What's that? So are you getting tired? Well, I was sleeping actually for a little while and then I came home and um, I didn't feel like going I didn't really sleep very well so I don't know when I got here I thought I was going to go right back to bed I decided to come on here instead. I haven't taken more speed yet. So, probably won't until the morning. Probably will go to bed here at some point. Um, I don't know. Managing oh, sleep is always a challenging proposition. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even use chemical assistance, and I, uh, I still struggle to sleep somewhat regularly. I'll be like, oh, I could be sleeping right now. And I'm like, but that's time I have to be not awake, and that's stupid.
Can't tell if your mic cut out or not, or if you're just not talking. Nope, can't hear it. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hiller. Oh, hoisto, hoisto, hoisto. You can make it, hoisto. The slabs are are coming into alignment. Again. <laughs> they are. It's this happens occasionally. It happens. I don't know. Every few months, it seems like. Uh huh. Where the slabs come into alignment, and something portentous is either going to happen or not. And it's like, you know, I had this I had a really crazy conversation with my ex wife. <laughs> The night in which she told me about this nightmare she had about the divorce. Um, basically, on the phone with me grieving our marriage, sobbing, you know, she's sobbing. And the reason is because basically she found somebody knew whom she was willing to love in the fashion that she loved me. Like, that she wanted to take care of. Uh -huh. And she was scared to to do that because, you know, I kind of conditioned her to think that that ends up in bad things. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <sighs> You know, I, I interpreted it as, oh, you need to get the rest of the morning out you have within you for us because now you realize that your heart is has found something else that's equivalently real. And so it's not something that can coexist with any unfinished business with us, you know? And... Yeah. It was a weird conversation because, of course, as soon as shit starts to, like, come together with, for me for a little bit with a possible course of action that will, you know, attend to my particular needs and wants and such, and which are rather a unique set of needs and wants. So as soon as that starts to look like it's coming together, what happens? Well, basically the exact same thing happens to my wife in, in reverse, ex-wife. And then I also got a message this morning for today from Michelle. Yeah. I mean, that's not one of those things that was ever going to happen because she's... If Edmund's mom, I and mean, if Edmund were like a sixth grader, maybe, <laughs> because then Michelle would make a little bit more sense. I don't know if she was messaging me about it, like she wanted me to get on her or anything anyway, but it's worth noting. No, when you say Michelle, are you talking about Edmund's mom? Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing that happened today is. I got a message from Helen. And, you know, shit that I wanted to 